On the eBooks tab, you're going to find our library's various eBook collections. The two largest are eBook Central and EBSCO eBook Collection at the top of the page. But you may want to start with one that's a little bit further down on the page, and that's Credo Reference. Credo Reference is a collection of online reference books, meaning you're going to get short entries that are good for finding introductory information about a topic. I'm going to do a search for dementia. The main reason why I recommend possibly starting with Credo Reference is it's great for finding other suggested keywords. The place that I want to point out to you is over on the right hand side, and that's the mind map feature. They take whatever topic you searched for and give you related concepts around the mind map. So right now I've done my search for dementia, and over here on the left hand side I can get entries out of reference books about dementia, but these are some related concepts. And the reason why I like this is it may give you some related search terms that you may want to use as you're conducting your research. So for example, one of the ones on here that grabbed my attention was neurodegeneration. I wouldn't have thought of that as a search term related to dementia, but that might be one of the words that the academics writing about this topic use when they're writing about it. So when I click on that, it not only creates a new mind map with neurodegeneration at the center of it, but it gives me related concepts on the outside of the map. And over here on the left-hand side, all of these are entries out of reference books about neurodegeneration. Going back to the LibGuide, if you're looking for more in-depth information, again, eBook Central and EBSCO eBook Collection are the way to go. I'm going to start out in eBook Central. And when we're in here, I'm actually going to show you one search that's a way to solve the question of how to type in a word when you're not sure whether to use past tense, present tense, singular, plural, etc. Let's say you wanted to search for something related to nostalgia but you weren't sure if nostalgia or nostalgic was the best way to do your search. Let me show you that. A search for nostalgia gives me 47,000 plus books that include that word. Search for nostalgic, 35,000 plus books that include that specific word. However, here's another way you could do the search. I put in everything up until the I, and then I put in an asterisk. What that's going to do is it's going to look for any words that include that root. So it goes up to the I. It could include nostalgia, nostalgic. If nostalgically is a, a word that appears in a book, that would be included. So this is kind of a catch-all. And you can see what it's done is it's given me a larger search results list because it's including all those various forms of the word, 64,000 books. And if I wanted to, I could again limit myself to the date of publication, which you may have done if you looked for print materials through our library. So I could limit myself to, as you can see, books published in specific years. And then, if you find one that looks interesting to you, you could just click on it and it would automatically bring up that book for you. So here's one, Exploring Nostalgia, Sad, Bad, Mad, and Sweet. I could click on that one and I could either read the book online or download the ebook. When you click on Read Online, which is my preferred method, a couple things that it might be of interest to you. Number one, there's a search box, so you could search to see if any word or phrase appears in the book, and it will tell you the pages where it appears. There's also the table of contents, so you can automatically jump to a specific section in the book. Uh, and don't forget, there is a link for sharing, and then there is also a citation link that you can click on to see the APA-style citation. With EBSCO eBook Collection, you're searching another one of our very large ebook collections. I'm going to go in and do a couple different searches. Now, if your search that you want to conduct includes multiple search terms, 
This is how you would construct that search. Let's say you wanted resources that discussed both play and depression. All you simply have to do is put the word and between them. That will join the words together and every result that it comes up includes both play and depression. So something like the use of creative therapies in treating depression, that might be an interesting one to take a look at. But again, also consider limiting yourself to items published in recent years. So when I limit to 2018, I've got a results list that's a little bit smaller because I'm only getting items that were published more recently. But keep in mind, trying different search terms will give you different results. So whereas here I've done a search for play and depression, maybe leisure and depression would be a good search to consider. And if that doesn't work for you, maybe try something like video games and depression. Don't forget phrases like video games, putting them in quotation marks will keep those search terms locked in and searched in only that order. Now, I wasn't successful here, but maybe I want to go in and say instead of video games and depression, video games and anxiety. And now I am getting some results again. Maybe I want to try something like leisure and anxiety. And again, this is going to continue to give me different results. All of my searches are somewhat similar, but the trying of different search terms produces different results. So now maybe something like young people, adults, and autism spectrum disorder would be a book that would be of interest to me. And in looking at the table of contents down here at the bottom, Chapter 7, about gaming and autism, might be one that's of interest to me. And again, don't forget, you've got the Cite button, as well as the Permalink button in this case, where you can get a link to share with your group mates. Lastly, going back to the LibGuide, one other collection that I'll point out to you that might be of interest is University Press Scholarship Online. This is a collection of psychology related ebooks, and these are ones published through Oxford University Press. So that's certainly a good option to take a look at. While the collection is smaller, you may find something of interest to you in there.